Hey everyone, John here with a quick news update on Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, as in the latest Famitsu, several tidbits came out from the director of the game, Tetsuya Takahashi. The translations come from Gomatsu, and some pretty big stuff came out of this, including the length of Future Connected. So let's start with that. So according to Takahashi, if you were to play the entire game, including the side content, it would take around 20 hours, whereas just playing the story takes around 10 to 12 hours. So not a great deal less than Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country, but still quite a bit shorter. But then again, this wasn't really promised as something that was huge. Takahashi says it would have been possible to make it longer if it were pay downloadable content, but the development of new titles would have been affected if too many resources were used. So it seems it could have been longer, but they didn't want to use too many resources. Anyway, there's a few more tidbits. Currently, Monolith Soft's first production staff are divided into three sections. One section's working on the Definitive Edition, one's working on a brand new title, and the other one's helping with both. They also state that the character models in the original version weren't the best and they've touched them up for the Definitive Edition. And there's some interesting tidbits on the music as well. Gimitsu translated as, Since this is a remaster, Monolith Soft was not able to re-record all the music with an orchestra. Instead, they improved the quality and rearranged it. So it seems not every track is going to be orchestrated, but it will be enhanced over the original version. And they've also improved the data compression and sound quality from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, so Monolith Soft are definitely enhancing their development tools. But yeah, that's the gist for now, so Future Connector is going to take around 10 to 12 hours to beat with just the story alone, and 20 if you want to do the entire thing. So what do you guys think about these news tidbits? Let us know in the comments below, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye!